Welcome, my sworn brothers, to Dynasty Warriors 8. In today's battle, let us slay the tyrant together. My name is Eddie. Let's begin. Ah, that... I thought I was just going to jump right in. So, um, before I actually press this button, I wanted to make a correction that uh, I had flubbed up in the last episode. There were a lot of flub-ups, but I definitely want to fix any mistakes that I may have left behind. In the first episode, I said that to activate your uh, rage meter, you hit L1. That was actually incorrect. If you want to unleash your rage mode, you hit R3 instead. I don't... L1? No. You hit R3 to activate rage mode. Now that that's out of the way, let me attempt to read off a bunch of story crap that's going to go by really fast, and I'm not going to be able to say it properly. But hey, who cares? My name's Eddie. I want to play already. Bah! Son of a bitch. Zhang Zhao was defeated due to the efforts of Liu Bei and his sworn brothers, thus bringing an end to the Yellow Turban Rebellion. However, the land remained in chaos as it began to descend into even deeper confusion and turmoil. Five years following the Yellow Turban Rebellion, a confrontation ensued between the eunuchs and the emperor's relatives within the capital of Luyang. Taking advantage of the commotion, Dong Zhuo, a powerful man from Zilang, moved to the capital. Once there, he seized custody of the emperor and made himself Grand Commandment. I don't know that word. Enabling him to engage in a... Determined to put an end to this lawlessness, Yuan Shao, a nobleman from the Hubei. By appealing to those across the land, he was able to form an alliance against Dong Zhuo. Liu Bei wished to help the endangered imperial court and join the coalition together with his sworn brothers. There, he also met a brave young warrior by the name of Zhao Yun. Wan Yu, Zhang Fei, and now Zhao Yun. Many great men had been drawn to serve by Liu Bei's side. Together, they were determined to defeat Dong Zhuo with their sense of righteousness amidst the cold winds of Hulao Gate. We made it to the second battle? What? But, uh, that's enough talk of the present. It's time to talk about the future. The Battle of Hulao Gate is, in my opinion, one of the more iconic battles in Dynasty Warriors because it hosts pretty much every faction in the game, except Jin because the Jin Dynasty doesn't exist yet. Now, I'd go into more detail, but the last episode capped it more than 30 minutes long, and wow, that's a lot of content to go over. So how about we jump right into the nitty gritty and let the battle explain itself later? We must defeat the tyrant known as Dong Zhuo, as if there wasn't enough reason to make fun of the man already. As far as battles go, this battlefield is more or less a narrow pathway, and there are no star conditions to worry about this time. So just going through the flow of battle should be no problems, right? Now, I did say that there aren't any star conditions this time, but there is something else you can go for for an extra challenge. But when I say challenge, I really do mean challenge. You have the option to unlock Guan Yu's hidden fifth weapon. That's right, each character can unlock more than the four types of their favorite weapon, but it's not as simple as you might think. The requirements to unlock powerful weapons are much easier to follow than the star conditions, but they are MUCH harder. For this battle, you need to defeat both Lu Bu and Zhuo Zhuang, or whatever the fuck you want to call his name, in under 14 minutes while playing as Guan Yu on hard mode or harder. So yeah, anyone who's played enough Dynasty Warriors could tell you, do not approach Lu Bu. Not until you're confident enough. Either way, I've marked both men's positions on the map if you want to challenge him, as well as where you can find Dong Zhuo. Pretty much as straightforward as straightforward gets, just take the straightforward path to get to the straightforward location and blah blah blah, you get the point. So, who am I playing as this time? None other than the mascot of Dynasty Warriors himself, Zhao Yun. Yay, this guy. Look, I got nothing against him, okay? He and his weapon are really decent, and for being the mascot of Dynasty Warriors, I can totally see why Zhao Yun got popular. I just don't care myself. There are so many better characters that I prefer, especially in Shu, that Zhao Yun feels like an afterthought. He's not a bad character, and his weapon, the Dragon Spear, is not terrible by any means. I just don't really care. The Dragon Spear is... good. I mean, it really is. While there's no special gimmick on the surface when using this weapon, 
you can cut in a thrust in certain combos to throw off the enemy, and that's pretty good. Not excellent, just good. Please do not think I hate Zhao Yun, but uh, I just don't care. I fight so that honor may carry the day. All right, so welcome to the campsite, guys. This is the first time we've seen this, and it's my third time being here. <clears throat> oh God, that wasn't good for. That. I, didn't this happen last episode too? Like I'm about to say something important, and I just burp it off. So, uh, anyways, basically this is preparation after preparation. Um, while you can talk to the blacksmith and get new weapons, sell your bad weapons, or just uh, maybe switch a character if you chose the wrong character, uh, I'm going to use this time to talk to who's here and who will be supporting us. Let's first talk to this guy. I am Yuan Xiao, leader of this coalition. You are lucky to have me on your side. Yeah, that's actually how he talks. And I'm going to like attempt voices for the first line and then just continue on with normal talking the rest of it. Our objective is to defeat that scoundrel Dong Zhuo and rescue the Emperor and Lu Yang. I'm getting better at this. In order to do that, we must first clear Hulao Gate. Show no mercy to anyone who stands in your way. I will do just that, person who seems too rich to be on the battlefield. Ooh, did I just go there? Now, uh, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei are basically the same conversation, so I'm only going to talk to Guan Yu. My name is Xiao Yun. I fight this battle under the command of Master Gong Sun Zan, or however you pronounce that. I'm not really good. A pleasant greeting. I am Guan Yu, here at the command of my sworn brother, Master Liu Bei. Master Liu Bei, I hear he is a man of great benevolence. I am very happy to be able to fight alongside you all. Thank you. Let us defeat the evil Dong Zhuo together. And Zheng Fei is basically the same line. So, uh... Oh! I burped again. So, uh... You may recognize that man over there. Welcome back, Zhang Zhao. So, why is he here if we defeated him in the last episode? Well, it's because in the last episode, I completed the Star Condition, where after doing so, instead of actually being defeated, he joins our noble cause. Well, I say noble cause, there's not really a cause yet. For the cause of the people. Basically, Zhang Zhao is going to be the one defending the main camp, while everyone else is going to be fighting and shit. Uh, I believe those are yellow turbans behind him. I didn't actually read what he said, but basically he's going to fight for us instead of against us. Um, without further ado, let's talk to the people whose battles will begin. Let's talk to the people whose battles will begin. God, I'm on a roll today with crappy dialogue. So uh, talk to either of these guys to start the battle. I see. You're here because you want to save the people. Correct. I can trace my ancestry through Prince Jing of Zhang Zhang. I cannot let this threat to the Han stand. I see. So tell me, Liu Bei, what future do you see for the Han? What exactly do you mean? Excuse me, who are you? My name is Zhao Yun, Master Liu Bei. I fight in this battle under the command of Master Gong Sun Zan. I don't think that's how you pronounce it. I don't care. I'm getting text messages. I see. Let us fight this evil together for the sake of the people. For the people, you say? Very well, I am with you. We must defeat these traitors and restore the glory of the Han Empire. All units, advance! First, we must advance from the east and tear down Sushui Gate. Come, the battle awaits. First thing I'm going to do is get on my horse. Leave the defense of the main camp to me. I shall put an end to these evildoers that look to defy the heavens. Zheng Jiao has not lost his spirit. We'll need to wait for our allies before we go any further. Right, so, as soon as I defeat this guy, I gotta go rescue him. Soon, bleh. Talking is overrated. I have to go rescue Soon Jian because right now, because of that. Horse, come here. We cannot waste time. We must head out. We must defeat the tyrant Dong Zhuo and bring peace to the land. Except this will not bring peace because if if the game was over after this, that would have been a complete waste of money. 
I don't know who I don't know how to pronounce that. Huchier. We're gonna we're gonna pass by him because these guys are more important. Hey guys, did you miss me? Hang in there. I am here Let us begin this battle. Not nah, Zhang Ba. Nah, screw you. We're fighting Zhu Rong first. Let's get this fight no, you defeated me. We're gonna fight. Oh god. Nope, we're doing this. We're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting. And I miss. Once I Once I get more of the Muso Rage completed, I'm gonna show you one of his Muso attacks. It's drills here. Psycho Crusher! Don't think you won. No one? Okay. Another That's fine. I thought it was pretty funny. Alright, so we got the full supplies for Get those supplies to the front line. We're on our way. Except we gotta go this way first. You pathetic rabble. I'm actually doing a lot better job than last time. I I, I did this over a practice. Um I did this one before as a practice run. And this time I'm doing very well. Oh, I did I got a switch boost right there. Well done. Ooh, I got a boost. I bless your name and house. I never this appears to be that. It's like, yeah. Chinese there. And he's doubt. And he, he's doubt. He's out. Alright, now I gotta go rescue Sun Jian. Hmm. It is an impressive feat indeed to defeat Hua Xiong. Chao Yun. If possible, I would like to have him And that never comes to pass because he joins Liu Bei. I mean, if it were up to me, I would join Liu Bei as well. Because Liu Bei is deader. Honestly, Cao Cao is just a- oh god. Cao Cao is just a prick in this game. I mean, he's a good leader. I'm not saying he's a good leader. I'm not saying he's a bad leader, but he's just not a nice person. We're going to defeat. Okay, you know what? Oh, I didn't mean to waste that. Oh, well. I think that opens the gate. Yep, there we go. Let's move on, guys. Where's Lu Bei? Lu Bei should have reached this point. You probably could hear that. There we go. Alright, I don't know where Lu Bei is. Alright, there we go. I don't really want to continue without Liu Bei, but all right, fuck it, we're moving on. We're going on a trip through our favorite Chinese warfare battlefield. Zooming through the sky, I'm trying so hard to be funny. Ah! Eh, I hurt you. So Liu Bei is catching up to us, so let's keep moving forward. We'll never let you reach Lord Dong. Oh, this is this the part with the arrows? Oh, how lovely. Arrows are falling from the sky. Uh, it's going to be difficult to make our way across here. We must defeat the enemy archers. I'm waiting for, uh, no, I'm arrows. waiting for Liu Bei. Come on! I'm wasting time. Uh, let's just continue on. Liu Bei will catch up. I train my men to be on high alert. Such an attack will not work on us. All right. Well, we just got to defeat the gatekeeper and we'll continue on. We actually need to like climb up a set of stairs through like a secret passage kind of area. It's not really a secret passage. You have to do it. Glory of my noble family. Prepare to march. All right. So we still got to get to Hulao Gate and we're we're making good progress. We're making good progress. 5 minutes in and we're a little less than halfway there. Sorry for burdening you. Come forth. I should teach you a thing or two about that. I turned down the sound way low, but I, I'm pretty sure this is one of the soundtracks that I like. Too bad I can't hear anything. I must fall back. There we go. We defeated him. Now we're moving forward. In the path of yeah, yeah, Zhao Yun, you're amazing. Totally. I totally care. You are doing an yep. And now, I think Zhao Yun's going to follow us, so I don't have to worry about him. He'll follow me into the where we need to go. Up the stairs and then down this gate. Up the fence and we're in. Oh, I've gone and gotten myself into a trap. Yeah, you little bitch. What are you gonna do? You gonna fight me? That's what I thought. I got the power of piercing and shit. Let's go. Now is the time to attack. Gonna... The... All right, there, there's, there's Cao Zing. Wait a minute, isn't Cao Zing a member of Cao Cao's family? What's he doing here? I wasted it again. Uh, I'm gonna use my next Muso attack. 
All right, for a second I thought I broke it again. Yeah, got him. Oh, I didn't defeat the guy I was supposed to. Whoopsie daisy. All right, here we go. Mobile unit captain's gonna die. I'm gonna kill you, you're gonna die. Alright, oh, okay, Zhang Liao, I think. Yeah, my weapon is strong against yours. This guy's pretty important. Uh, we're not gonna see him for a while, at least I don't think we are. No, we see him in the next battle. Never mind, I lied. Uh, this guy's pretty important. And I'm just kind of kicking his ass. I'm like literally wrecking his shit right now. I'm waiting for the day where you die. He's got like nothing. Oh crap. He, what was that? Oh, okay. I did not expect him to do that. That was actually pretty awesome. There we go. And I got the combo boost. Which is also something I just made up. But uh, I need some health. Like right now. There we go. That's good. Oh, I asked for health. I got health. The gods must enjoy me. Oh crap. Or we at the part with the ballista. Oh come on! He wasn't even in front of me, and I get killed by it. All right, you know what? Screw this. This part I'm using the rage beater. You are no ordinary fighter now. All right. So for the point, the point of this is to just defeat all these ballista, which is really hard to do because you try to defeat one, and the ballista behind the one you're trying to kill. Just start ganging up on you, and you can't attack because they're attacking you. And you have to go around the ballista, but the other ballista around the area will just attack you as well. So I hate those parts. At least we defeated them. That probably made no sense when I was explaining it, but it made sense in my head. Like a diagram or something that I'm not going to create it might help. Right now, my only goal is to defeat Lee Ru. Are these people actually real? Was this in the story of the Three Kingdoms, or... No, let's go. Watch this. Where is he? If I got him. I don't think I... No, I missed him. I missed him, damn it! I'll get him next time. I shall return after reviewing my strategy. Yeah, whatever. Another obstacle in the path of You've almost got to the catapult. In other words, the most boring part of this entire battle. So let's defeat Gao Shun. Does he have a weakness? Okay, yeah, he's weak to, uh, he's using an Earth skill. And I've got a Heaven skill. He's weak to an Earth, and I've got a Heaven weapon, so I'm gonna beat him. Or at least I hope so. <gasps> Almost there, guys! And the Ballista's mine. Not Ballista, Catapult. Sorry, I'm always gonna fuck that up. Is this on? Alright, so this is the most boring part of this battle, as I said. Basically, you walk up to the catapult, press the X button, and you gotta fire at the two catapults that are on the screen right there. There's one there, and then there's one on the other side. I'm going to speed this up because you don't want to see this for the next five minutes. And that's all you do. See you guys in a bit. Welcome back, guys. Crush these vile pests. What a waste of my time. You're not even worth soiling my blade. Okay, guys, you ready for cutscene? Time for cutscene. allow your light to be extinguished here that's right we must combine our strength and defeat this raging monster <laughs> entertain me if you can 
Okay. Okay, yeah, we're not doing that. Bye! So, uh, they want you to at least pretend to attack Lu Bu. But, uh, I'm about to show you in a few minutes. Well, I'm about to show you right now why that is a horrible idea! I have no chance of winning, so I'm just gonna bail. Bye! Oh god! Nope, we're out of here, we're out of here! Shit, shit, run, 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 run! Oh god, that was. Oh fuck. I gotta go find myself some, uh, food. You stand before me? You have courage! Yeah. So, um, as you can clearly see, fighting Lubu is not the smartest thing to do if your warrior isn't ready for it yet. That's why I'm not worried about getting Guan Yu's weapon, besides the fact that I'm not playing as Guan Yu, so I don't care enough. Also, we just passed a girl named Diao Chan. If you are also- if you are- bleh. If- I am here to face you personally. Prepare yourself. Sorry, I just got caught up in the moment. Earlier we passed a girl named Gao Chan. Do not attack her if your warrior is not properly skilled yet. Because if you hit her too many times, Lu Bu will get pissy and he will start dealing one hit KO shots towards you. I, I, I want to make that up, but I just proved it like a few minutes ago. So uh, yeah, let's not do that. I just gotta defeat Zhang Ji in order to get the next part down. Alright, so the gate's open. But before I go in there, um, I have to say something. Let's defeat these guys first. Young So yeah, that Dong Zhuo, he just said he's gonna burn us all. He wasn't kidding! Once we go in there, the frame rate is going to drop horrendously. Which is the worst part of the game. So I'm warning you guys right now. Okay, you know what? Dio Chan, get the hell out of the way. Please be food. Okay, good. Basically, I hope you guys are ready. We're going into some disgusting territory. You don't fuck that time. Alright, so for the this part right here, you need to defeat every look at the frame rate. It's so disgusting. This is this is the only time I think this happens. Where just the frame rates get so low, you can't even move. I mean you can. It's just hard to look at, okay? Uh, in the meantime, since while you're in here, just try to get out of here as soon as possible. But as you do. Try to take out any mobile unit captains that you see. Uh, there's one over here. Where is he? There he's behind me. You want to defeat all mobile unit captains. Once you do, the peasants will put out the fire. I defeated him. Why are you still alive? Which will make this so much easier to deal with. Like, I, I kind of rushed what I was talking about since Yao Chan was trying to attack me. This entire fire area is just like, I don't know, three frames per second for me. It's disgusting to look at, okay? I'm, I'm not even arguing with you. Our town? Yeah, everything's destroyed. We've lost everything, <laughs> We've lost everything including the frame rate. Uh, this is going to be the last mobile unit captain, and then things should be back to normal. This disgusting frame rate won't ever happen again, I hope. I can't remember any more moments where everything just goes to shit. fighting for the sake of the people. One day, I would like to serve such an honorable man. Is the fire out? Nope, there's one more left. I think, wait, that should be it. Yep, there we go. Oh, that sweet, beautiful frame rate is back to normal. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, let's finish this battle once and for all. Dong Zhuo is just past this gate that you're not seeing. Is Diao Chan still around? Fuck, I don't want to deal with Diao Chan. I don't want to deal with Go Si, which I just removed the uh, weak point. There we go, Wo Si. After defeating him, we fight... I almost said Lu Bu. We are not fighting Lu Bu. Uh, we are fighting Dong Zhua, the fat tyrant. I mean, I I feel no shame when I say that. He really is a fat tyrant. I mean, he just burned the capital city to the ground. Yeah, he's totally a nice guy. I think he's using a switch boost. I got the switch boost, but he died before I could ha use it. Alright, open this door. I want to defeat the fat tyrant. Dong Zhua. There we go. All right, this is the final stretch of the battle, guys. It's time to defeat the tyrant. I shall put an end to your villainous existence. I don't have a weapon that's good against him. Yeah, I don't have a weapon that will him. Uh, my earth is bad against heaven, so it'd be pointless to use it. Don't worry. Your obsession with power has thrown the land into turmoil. Your reign of tyranny ends now. Just who do you think you are? Alright, let's see if I can get a... Oh, crap. 
There we go. I got a swirly thing in, but I missed Dung Zwa. Where is he? Is he behind me? Where'd he go? And you know what? One more shot should do it. Yo! And I'm in the air, and you should be dead. Did I miss him again? Oh, he was blocking. God damn it. You were a piece of shit. What's he doing? Oh, crap. I think that was a bomb. That was something to do with his bombs. There we go. Yeah, so uh, unlike last time where there was a cutscene, this one just kind of ends. Yep, the battle is won. Except he got away, because of course he did. We don't get to see Dung Zhua die. At least not yet. So, uh, yeah, that was the end of the battle. Just kind of ends. But uh, whatever, I'm not worried about it too much. So here we are, back to the main menu. I just want to see what our next battle is. Uh, Defense of Zhu Province. I want to say Providence, but it's not. It's Zhu Province. So um, in the next battle, we defend Zhu Province. At least, well, I've done this battle before. You do more than just defend it. But basically, you're at a disadvantage the entire battle. I will see you guys. I almost pulled, I almost spoke like him again. I need to think of an ending card. Um, bye. Bye. Yay.